What is going on, guys? I hope you guys are having a fantastic long extended weekend remembering Dr. Martin Luther King. And the market is slowly creeping back up. So before we get started, I'm not going to give much news today. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we're going to go ahead and pop this straight on the screen. Um, again, everything is coming towards Wednesday. Today was off. The markets were closed. Futures were rolling. Bitcoin was pushing up over the weekend. I did take another position on the dip on Bitcoin over the weekend. Um, I'm trying to hold that position on Bitcoin. Uh, although I did come across some other information regarding uh, Ethereum, which I hold more Ethereum than I actually hold Bitcoin. Uh, but nonetheless, being said, I think that is a good hedge for anything going uh, when it comes to inflation. And I do like Ethereum more so over Bitcoin. But nonetheless, I could probably do a separate video on Ethereum and my reasoning behind that. Uh, but now, let's get started, right? Uh, we're not talking about Bitcoin right now. Right now, we're talking about the market. And we've slowly been creeping up all day. Wouldn't be surprised if this actually gaps up and we sell off a little bit to get entry to continue tomorrow. Now, being said, um, it really all depends on what is going to happen um, on Inauguration Day. Uh, there's a lot that can go on. I, again, I didn't, I did not see any like headline news today um, that really like shook me. So I think Trump silently bowed out. Uh, bowed out. Excuse me. Uh, that was the last I saw. So I don't really think there's much else going on. Nonetheless, inauguration is on Wednesday. So we will see what happens here. It's going to be an interesting week. I think renewables are going to explode perhaps on Wednesday during the inauguration speech. Uh, I could be wrong, but nonetheless, I think uh, I think it's definitely going to be good. And I'm already liking this move. All the EMAs are starting to push up and stuff. So I do have some other stocks I want to talk about today. I was doing a little bit of research over the weekend. Um, I did find some that are interesting. I did find one that I know, I know I'm kind of late to the train on these things. Um, I don't want to be the front runner a lot of times when it comes to specs and stuff like that. Like I've talked about before, if you followed me at all, I don't typically like to play the specs and stuff, the spec stocks and momentum stocks. I like to stick with my usuals. Uh, giving, I still like to, I do like to trade them every now and again. And with a lot of the EVs coming out, like NGA and everything, I'm not fully low in the boat on those things. Um, I do have a good size position, so if it does rip, I, I can take advantage of that. Uh, being said, I, I was, was looking at a lot of stuff today. Uh, I've already gone over, if you haven't seen the weekly, I've already gone over uh, Tesla and all that stuff. I'm not worried about Tesla, it's playing this range. Might try to pick up some shares here. Uh, we are going into earnings, so that's a good thing to keep in mind. Uh, Airbnb uh, still on the board for tomorrow. Square, all my positions uh, still solid. Square, I still want to. Square, I think, might actually be playing this wedge, to be honest. I'll be watching it this week. Um, I already got a pretty decent size in this. Um, depending what happens tomorrow, I have got some stocks. The What was that spec I had? The BLBD pushed up on Friday. Um, just before uh, 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, it like gapped up. So someone put uh, some big money in after hours there. But with that being said, it would be interesting to see where that opens up tomorrow, especially if the market gaps up overnight. Um, snow, again, I'm just going to run through some of these I've already gone over real quick. Snow is, is it needs to push up. Uh, BYND looks good, looks solid. We're building, uh, we're starting to consolidate again. We might do this maybe for another day, maybe even gap up tomorrow. But it really needs to break this tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Etsy, I still love me some Etsy. Debating if I should have took that position there. It does look like it's curling over though. We'll see what happens. Tam still holding. I think by. Um, Again, by Wednesday, this might start actually running and gapping. 
Uh, same with this, the end phase. I've actually, I have a leap in this. Uh, that's the nice thing about leaps. Even though they go red, they still hold very well. Um, so that's why I like playing leaps. Uh, I'm going to hold this. I'm going to try to hold this one all, all throughout the year, actually, um, because I really think energy storage is where it's at. That's one of the stocks that I, um, I found this weekend, too, that I have a, a stock I want to look at. Um, win, again, still needs to come down. Uh, NIO. I don't know. I think NIO is going to sell off. I, I have a bad feeling. That's why I had that uh, that leap put on NIO. I really think it's going to come down. I know a lot of people are buying into it, but unless it has a product and actually uh, producing the vehicles at mass amounts. Um, I, I did some research on EVs too, and I know Lucid was one of them too. A lot of people have been buying into Lucid, but they're in the same, having the same issues with um, – that Nikola had, right? They don't have a mass-produced vehicle. Yeah, it's all good speculation, but uh, you're already far behind Tesla. And I think Lucid, I think, was still waiting, I think, what, like five years or something before they started, like, mass-producing these vehicles. And they were <laughs> and they were talking garbage about Tesla, and yet they don't even, they can't mass-produce a single car yet. So, um, and they're going for the luxury uh, vehicles, the high-end vehicles, so... The reason Tesla is going to run away with this thing is because of the, the compact cars and stuff, especially if they do showcase a compact car uh, this year, which everybody is assuming that they will. Um, yeah, they're just going to run away with it. And I don't really know who's going to catch up with them. It's going to be tough. This one here, the STPK Star Peak Energy Transition. This one here is the energy play I want. And I know a lot of people have seen it. I've heard it talk about even before when it started to push up. Um, I never got into it because I never looked to see what they did. Uh, another spec stock, but I like this. After looking after this, I think this one can really run. And uh, I gotta love TOS. Oh, come on, TOS. I don't know if it's TOS or my computer, but nonetheless, um, I'm looking actually for uh, can jump into this red zone here. There's a nice support. Again, if we gap up, I don't know if this thing's going to gap up. Maybe it might play this range for a while. I'd really like it down here, 29.93, and, and grab some leaps on this guy. That is what I'm looking at. That is my primary, actually, for um, this week, depending. It really depends on tomorrow. I think if we gap, then we might uh, crap a little bit tomorrow and get us some good entries going into um, – Wednesday, Wednesday, any kind of big thing like that, it's kind of not good to hold anything past the first hour of the day <laughs> because you get a lot of wicks. Uh, but if you're in shares or you're in um, leaps, uh, they normally hold uh, pretty good, even with all the, the rattling going around. So, And again, Lucid, I just pulled this up. I looked at it. It's not something I'm really interested in. I mean, if it came back down to this 1523 and it, with the support of the 200 EMA, I might actually look at some leaps there. Um, I kind of want to have my foot in a couple of these different EVs. Um, Lucid, I don't know. We'll see. It's not my favorite of the EVs, that's for sure. NGA, I really like NGA. Um, again, if it... I want it to come down. I want to see where it opens tomorrow. That's another big play. Those are my two, I think, big plays tomorrow. Uh, GIK, this is also one that I do have a leap a leap in as well. So if this gaps up, that would be awesome. And this is another one I'm watching tomorrow is the BIIO. Uh, Geonomics um, is also the other one I'm looking at. I think they might be wait. They must be waiting on some kind of news because we're uh, – this doesn't gap up overnight or crap. Uh, I'm definitely going to be looking at leaps for this too. Um, yeah, that's where I am with that. Uh, bingo. Uh, we could get probably gap up overnight or gap down. Either one on that one. AMD. Actually, let me put this BL. This goes up here with all my EVs. EV specs goals. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. It closed. The BLBD, uh, the Bluebird, yeah, she ripped up right after close. 
So that was it's going to look pretty good tomorrow, and depending on how much it rips. And the reason why this one is ripping more is because with Biden's plan, um, he says he wants to keep it in country. All the, the stuff that he wants, all the EV stuff, all the infrastructure and architecture that he's talking about, he wants to keep it in country. Bluebird, they make their electric buses in country. So this is American made. So this is why this one is, is gapped up the way it is. And I think will continue to run uh, for months to come this year. Um, being said, uh, I think that's snap i do have that leap and snap too i don't know if i talked about that uh in the in the weekly review but i am sitting in that so i'm going to hold that um actually i want to see if we gap because i think they're going to have a awesome earnings like they did they're going to surprise people again uh if they gap again i'm going to see how it looks during just before earnings and then if uh, if it looks pretty decent at earnings, I'm gonna hold that leap. But then if uh, the earnings happens and that thing and this gaps up, we'll probably actually sell it at that point. Again, I want to try to lighten a lot of my positions after earnings. I don't want to be in a lot of heavy stuff. Uh, I'm look, essentially looking for that correction. Um, once that correction happens, then I'll start loading again. Um, nothing. Riot might be good, but Bitcoin has already been pushing, like I said, over the weekend. It looks like it's kind of stolen out again, so we'll have to see about that. I think there was another one. Oh, Wolf Petco. Um, this one may be interesting. Um, I want to keep my eye on Petco only because I know during this whole pandemic, people have been going nuts with their animals and everything and, and buying all kinds of extra stuff uh, for their animals. Petco, and then I think BarkBox is the other one. Um, but I think the sales on both of those will be through the roof, definitely for um, this this last quarter. So definitely something to keep a look at. I'm trying to think, MP MP might actually be good if it comes back down. If it somehow drifts back down to this this thirty dollar mark, it might take a a leap. I might look at leaps here at MP too. That's another thing. Um, it's not my favorite, again, but we'll see what happens. Let me look here. I don't think, one thing I'm definitely, it's, as far as like, I know this is kind of like uh, projecting a little bit further into the future, but um, if we do have a major correction, I will definitely be grabbing, um, I've been looking at, I've been looking at a, a um, options call options on this guy on arc this genomics uh index that they have uh genomics is hard right because um a lot of news can come out and tank the individual stocks uh, that's why i like the index better and it's, it's hard to keep up with the news because the news changes so much so right it's hard to be consistent with the news with, with uh, any kind of um this genomic space, right? So I did have a position in here, I sold, but um, if it comes back down, I'll definitely be looking for some kind of leaps out of here. I think they only go to July. Uh, if I'm not, uh, actually, I think it might actually be December. We got December. So we got December on those guys. Good old December on those guys. Um, let me see here. Yeah, because I know Crisp has been in the news and they've been like rocketing. Man, I remember Crisp was like 40 bucks. Pretty sure it was 40 bucks when I was looking at it. Nonetheless, or maybe it was 60. I can't remember. It's already rocketed. It's, a, it's quite amazing. I can't believe I missed that. I missed a lot of stuff. It's all good. I don't play that way. I don't like to play uh, the diversity game. I like to pick a couple, a handful of stocks, um, typically growth stocks, and, and write them out, right? Because that's where the most growth is now. Uh, genomics will be the next the next wave. I, I totally agree with that. Um, 
But being said, I think that's all I have for you guys. It is going to be short today because there's not a lot going on. The market is uh, is pushing right now. I think we may gap up overnight and then um, uh, sell off. If we don't break this, we'll have to see how this plays overnight. I mean, if it goes down again, then might be looking at that 37.20 mark. Um, I, I really don't think so. I think this was just uh, Biden and his wordplay on Friday is what tanked it here. Uh, I think everybody's ready. They're ready for a change as far as like um, renewables and everything and all the stimulus money coming in. But I think we push right back up. We might actually play, start playing this range tomorrow. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if we gap up here and then just play the range throughout the day. And then uh, after the speech, I think uh, it will give us our, the, our ultimate direction, right? If we go up or down, I think it will probably go up um, it's because renewables. I'm hoping he says something about uh, tax credits for Tesla. If that's the case, then uh, um, things like BL um, are essentially, yeah, Tesla would be taking off. I'm trying to think of any other EVs that might take get benefit out of the tax credits. I'm not really sure. But nonetheless, that's what I got for you guys. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. And I will see you guys later.